Hello everyone, welcome back. As part of DevSecOps tutorials, we are going to give a lot of importance to DevSecOps perspective. So as part of that, we are going to learn about a tool called Trivi. So what is Trivi? Trivi is an open source security scanner developed by a company called Aqua Security. So using Trivi, you can scan your Docker images, you can scan your Git repositories for any uh, vulnerabilities or, or any security issues or you can also scan your Kubernetes cluster, or let's say you are writing Terraform files or you're writing uh, Kubernetes manifest file, you can also scan them for any misconfiguration as well. So in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, pick up a EC2 instance. Okay, so I have already configured a Ubuntu EC2 instance, and then we are going to install a Trivi on that EC2 instance, and then we will perform some basic scanning. That's exactly what we are going to do in this video. So I'm already connected to my EC2 instance running in AWS cloud. So this is my EC2 instance running in AWS cloud. So uh, this is actually my Jenkins EC2 instance. So if you wanted to learn how you can automate, uh, you know, your Trivi scanning, you can definitely integrate that with uh, Jenkins pipeline. So probably, you know, in the next video, we will talk about that, how to do that. All right, so let's first see if we have Trivi installed on this machine. So you can see here, so Trivi is not installed on this machine, it's a Trivi not found. So I'm gonna show you how we can set up Trivi on our Ubuntu EC2 instance. So if you click on this particular link, uh, so this is actually a Trivi website, right? So there are so many ways you can configure Trivi based on the requirement, right? So let's say you are using, uh, you know, Red Hat EC2 instance, right? or it had Linux or CentOS Linux. So these are the you know configuration steps, okay? Or let's say if you want to download a Docker image, and then you know if you want to run Trivi as a Docker container, you know you can also do that as well, right? So you can download Docker image and then you can also configure that as well, okay? But since we are using Ubuntu EC2 instance, so I'm going to actually you know install Trivi by executing these commands, all right? So let's get started. So I have already documented all the steps over here. So let's try to execute one by one. So let's first download the, uh, you know, let's first install wget. There you go. And then let's try to download. Let's download the key from Aqua website. Perfect. And then let me go ahead and then perform this command. So this is going to make an entry in this particular file. All right. And then Let's perform update and then we will go ahead and then install Trivi. So I'm going to, uh, you know, pass minus Y. Awesome. So Trivi is installed, so you can verify that. Perfect. So this is the Trivi version. Wonderful. Awesome. So now, like I said, it can scan, you know, your Docker image, it can scan file system folders, it can scan your Git repositories, it can also scan your Kubernetes cluster, and then, you know, it can scan Terraform files and whatnot. So we will try a couple of options here, right? So let's say, if you wanted to scan your Docker image, all you have to do is just say Trivi image and then pass on the Docker image name, right? So let's say I wanted to scan an Nginx image, okay? So of course, if we, if I don't pass anything, any tag, it's gonna pick up latest, but anyway, let me pass the tag. So what this will do is, this is going to scan uh, Nginx Docker image for finding any, uh, you know, vulnerabilities or anything like that. So let's see. If the image is not there on your uh, EC2 instance or local machine, wherever you are performing this command, so this will download from Docker Hub and then it will perform scanning. Let's see. So you can literally see here, wow, it found about 136 issues. And then these are the uh, breakdowns, right? So we have like low 95 issues, medium 29, high 10, critical two. So I know we have got like a lot of issues, right? But if you wanted to filter, right? Let's say I wanted to, you know, filter like only like high critical and, you know, uh, issues, right? And then you can also pass argument like this. You see here? Let's say I just wanted only high-end critical. You can also pass argument like that and then enter. 
there you go so now you can see here it just able to you know filter based on the criteria right so yeah so that's the beauty of uh, you know trivi right which is completely open source now let's say i have configured my you know uh, repository right so my github repository is over here let's say i want to scan this particular this particular repository so how do i do that all you have to do is you know just say trivi repo and then you pass the repo url right in my case uh, this is already a public repository if you see here this is my repository i have configured this is actually a spring boot application this is publicly available public repository so all you have to do is you know just say trivi repo and then pass the repo url so what this will do is obviously this will try to you can see here right this will try to download the code and then it will start scanning so again you can see here now it kind of gave you this kind of a breakdown but again once again if you wanted to do some kind of a filtering so you can also pass that as well right you can pass those arguments let's say i wanted to know only high and critical only i don't care about medium or low so you can also do that as well right so there you go so now you know it can now we can see here it has kind of shortened the scan report right so let me quickly show you how you can also scan your local file system so for example let me first type ls minus al i have a couple of folders here let me do one thing let me go inside my uh, repository so this is my uh, repository so now let's say i wanted to scan uh, this particular folder so all you have to do is you know just say trivi fs and then just say dot so dot means obviously a current folder right and then enter wow there you go so do you all see here now so it was able to scan that particular repository and then it was able to you know create that uh, you know report for us right so yeah so that's what you know trivi can do guys of course um, maybe in our next video i will show you guys you know how you can scan your kubernetes cluster uh, using trivi and we can also learn you know how to scan terraform files and whatnot right so we will definitely see that in in upcoming videos and then last but not the least guys let's say if you want to integrate uh, trivi with a jenkins cacd pipeline so you can definitely click on this particular link so if you wanted to integrate trivi with azure devops cacd pipeline you can definitely click on this particular link so i have very good video that kind of talks about how to do that as well right all right awesome guys i hope this video was really useful i'm looking forward to see you guys in the next video thank you so much